Well, through the magic of television. <laughs> <laughs> We're here on the uh, set with the pastors. Welcome, gentlemen. So glad to have you back in. This is where the we, we have our, our pastors team comes together and takes on questions that have been called in or mailed in or, or emailed in. And I want to encourage you as we get ready to just start this segment, send us your hard questions. Mm. Pete, we like that when, when oh. we send hard questions in. It makes us dig. Makes us dig, and then you know the truth comes out. The truth is in the midst of us. We have the mind of Christ. So I'm the, I'm the moderator of sort, and on today's panel there are Dr. Weimar Glaze, Bethany Baptist Church in Pittsburgh, Chris Gibbs, pastor of Crossway Church in the Mars area, Pete Jackaloni, Rainbow Temple Assembly God Church, McKeesport, Pennsylvania, J. Anthony Gilbert, Kingdom Restoration Christian Center, Mal Washington. We've kind of calmed down our, our introductions that way. Yeah. <laughs> we used to be, we used to be a little bit more ramping. We've got to get a new one. Me. <laughs> we, we used to do we've Let's become, go. We've become more humble. <laughs> <laughs> we've become more humble. <laughs> We have put on, we've put on humility so that it does not put us on. So, so here's the question. I am a Christian, pastors. Mm -hmm. I read the Bible. Yes. I pray. I yes. fast. I have a re relationship with God. I've seen him do miracles in my life. So why do I get anxious that he may not do that again? You know, you know right away, I, I, I love the heart of this individual. But I would, need, I would t tell this individual, don't even worry about it. Because the emphasis is walk in the light as he is in light. Don't give up. Don't go following signs, but let signs follow you in your everyday life, whether you're in the grocery store, driving your car. See, this is what Jesus said in, in, in Mark. He said, and these signs will follow those who believe. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's not like, oh, I got it. I lost it. I got it. I lost it. Mm -hmm. Just stay in straight yeah. fellowship with Christ. And when you come along and God lays it on your heart to witness this person or pray for that person, the sign is up to Jesus. The sign is, when we think the sign is up to us, we're in deep trouble. Deep doo-doo. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, and I like how you were saying that, you know, the signs. But I think there's, there's some other signs not to worry about because obviously that's the issue is worry, right? right. But to, to be focused on, and that's not the signs of what God will do, but the signs of my own spiritual maturity. Mm. Because when I have seen that's God do some yes. things, yeah. exactly, when I've yeah. seen God do some things, but I'm still saying I'm worried that he might not do it again, yeah. there is a lack of maturity yeah. and a need for spiritual growth. Uh, along with your verse, uh, look at, you know, you look in James. One, there's so many good things where it says, you know, if any of you lack wisdom, ask God who gives generously. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. And that word believe uh, is to have faith, yeah. to be persuaded. And we've got to grow in our spiritual maturity to be persuaded that if right. God says he will, I don't have to worry. And then it goes on to say double minded. And I was looking at that word yeah. double minded. And it's actually a word that is very closely related to the, you know, to a, to a mental illness word that we understand, which is schizophrenia, which means to be split in the mind. Double mind is to be separated, to be split, to be divided yeah. between two worlds. Mm -hmm. And spiritual maturity will help us grow in that. Well, you know, as we look at the one word in there, anxiety, anxious. Mm -hmm. And in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus said, yes. be not anxious. And so the first thing we need to realize is anxiety is a sin. Yeah. And, yeah. and we need to treat it, you know, yeah. as a sin. That's, that's, and so, that's tough, Pastor. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's, that's a hard thing for the person to hear. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you've seen God do miracles, right. then you already have a basis to have faith and trust in him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why are you worried right now mm -hmm. if you know what God can do? And do, you you see, do you see a separation, though, uh, between somebody who struggles, with you know, like being anxious as a sin? Because I agree, because yeah. Jesus yeah. said, don't do something yeah. this. But also, is, is, there, is there room for the clinical well, yeah, allowance? Yeah. Right, yeah, I, yeah, you yeah. definitely want to be sensitive, yeah. you know, to that issue. But I'm, I'm taking it just exactly. like off his face sure, value, sure. that mm -hmm. if you've trusted God in the past, right. and you've seen God <laughs> do miracles, and now all of a sudden you're worried, Mm -hmm. whether he's going to do it or not. You know, the issue is not with God. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's with you. Mm -hmm. And I see some things in her question that make me question a little bit of her methodology. Mm -hmm. She said, I pray, I fast, I do all these things. And she's scared that God won't do it again. Good so word. I'm seeing a woman that's works oriented. They, they, and the Bible says yeah. in Ephesians that we're saved by grace through faith. Right. She yeah. doesn't need to worry about what she prays, fast, does all these things. The, what I'm not hearing is I believe. Yeah, that's it. You know, simply believe yeah, in God, in believe word. in his word, believe what he said, mm -hmm. and he will do it again because he's faithful to his right. word. Like David, he said, I saw him deliver me out 
out of the hand of the lion and out of the bear, mm -hmm. surely he'll deliver me from the uncircumcised Philistines. Yeah. So sometimes we need to go back and right. rehearse yeah. our previous victories so exactly. we can have faith for our current well, see, adversity. Now that's, that, that was going to ask you, 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 your brothers this. There are seasons. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's there's right, a season that's that right. you're on a, on a mountaintop and you yeah. see all those right. victories. Right. And, and other times there are seasons where you're in, you're in a valley and God seems like he's far away. Right. But yep. God hasn't gone anywhere, but the seasons are good seasons for us mm -hmm. to go through. If we didn't have the seasons, yeah. Pastor Chris, we would not have the ability to grow. That's interesting that you say that because I didn't know you were going there. But like, you know, in, in uh, John 15, 5, I am the vine, Jesus says, you're the branches. Right. If you remain and that we're to dwell and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from you can do nothing. And then to your point in Psalms, it says, you know, but those who delight, you know, blessed is the one who doesn't walk in step with the wicked or stand in the the way that sinners take or in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord who meditates day and night. That person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Mm -hmm. So we go through all kinds of seasons and spiritual growth is what will take us from that. There's a difference between, I think, between hope and peace. Hope is a belief in what God is saying that he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Peace is what will sustain you and hold you when that doesn't fit in your timing. And we must remember that yeah. the apostles yeah. Yeah. never healed at will. Remember, uh, remember when Jesus sent the 70 out and they came back rejoicing, hey, we did this, we did that, we did that. And Jesus had to correct them and said, fellas, listen to me. It, it, it's far more valuable that your names are written in the Lamb's book of life than it is the fact that you're doing all these signs and wonders. Sometimes, like I said, we're chasing signs and wonders when signs and wonders should be following us. Well, and, and I think you brought out a good point, Don, about the seasons. Because you look in Ecclesiastes, yes. there's a time and a season for everything. Right. And, you know, those two words for time, chronos, and uh, season, kairos. You know, mm -hmm. God works in our life, and there may be a kairos moment that God mm -hmm. does a miracle. Right. Right. And he may yeah, be yeah, work, yeah, he right. may be going to do a right. miracle, but it's not the time for him to do it now. And we have to, like the, all the rest of the pastors have been saying, we've got to have belief and faith and trust That's in good. God. That's right. And and feelings, feelings also yeah. are, are something we can't go by. That's right. Our anxiety or our feelings, That's which scary. lets me know too, I would encourage you once again, feed your Stay faith. In That's your, it. Right. Feed your faith. That's it. Well, the good news for whoever asks this question is that they're on a, a path of righteousness. Right. Yeah, it's good. That's yeah. the good news. Mm -hmm. And it sounds to me like, we th was it a lady? Do we think it was a lady who, who that she has a heart to help others? Right. Yeah. That's right. why she wants to right. see these things happen in, in lives. So that's all good. That's all good things. And if, if we're motivated, Pastor Glaze, if we're motivated by the desire to help others, see, compassion moves the supernatural. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. That's how God, yeah. it's, it's got to. Right. It's got to be the motivation. If you're in the God, business, well, yeah. God will do great things, yeah. you know, because yeah. he sees your heart that you want to help other people. And uh, I mean, that's why Jesus came. Yeah. You know, he came, mm -hmm. you know, to help other people, to be a servant. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Because if you don't have compassion, if you don't have compassion, Pastor Jay, then you're just in the business of it. Right. That's right. Well, I heard someone say that compassion causes you to act. Yeah. And Jesus, that's what, who worked his greatest miracles. Yeah. Whenever you say that he moved with compassion, he worked his greatest miracles. Amen. The love chapter. You can do all you want to do. If you're not motivated by love, it profits nothing. Yeah. First Corinthians says, don't you speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not love? I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm a bunch of noise. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So if it's not motivated out of love, that's why oh, God moves it. in us yeah, it's because good. we get in his love stream. There, oh, it's good. And when we get in his that's love good. stream and there we look go. at somebody through the compassion of the eyes, and it's not really about prayer and fasting as much as it's about loving the Lord. Now, prayer and fasting is critical for us oh, personally. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> but I think the Lord <laughs> has used people that... Uh, don't do prayer and fasting, but they get in the love stream and they pass on oh, the my. gifts of the Spirit. It just flows. Yeah. Amen. But there are seasons. Now, there's a season, and sometimes the season is for you to give, and sometimes the Lord wants to charge your batteries. Mm -hmm. You That's know, good. your battery needs to be recharged, like my, my, my phone. Sometimes i got to plug it in <laughs> and charge it. Sometimes it's strong. And so the Lord wants you to be willing and able to give, but you've got to be willing and able to receive. So take the time. If, it's not, if you're not on the mountaintop, enjoy the valley. Yeah, Enjoy the valley that's because good. the Lord will meet you both places. Mm -hmm. Both places, mm -hmm. He's with you. You're not going to be outside of His presence. You can't earn God's love with oh, your actions. That's right. right. You pray for the whole world to get saved, but that doesn't make God love you. He loves you because He loves that's you. That's right. 
and He just is a God of love. Send us your hard questions, hard questions at ctvn.org. Call the number that's on the screen. You know, we're coming up, gentlemen, next week on some special package programming. The whole prime time next week is going to be our family time, Winning God's Way. Wow. Winning God's it's Way. You know, we are, in a, we are in a race. Paul talks about it. Yeah. Talks about run to win. One. And Amen. we want to run to win. We want to help you run to win. Not because you can be the first to cross, because you're not racing no. against us. I'm not racing against Pastor no. P. I never I never could win against yeah. Pastor P. <laughs> I don't know. But but I'm racing against me. The best That's me. Right. The I best, want to be the yeah. best me. Want you to be the best you. So tune in all next week. Join us here. Here's a little bit more about that.